after the processing, we need to keep going with the sound, but we need variations because it's so recognizable sound. So it's kind of boring to have a three minute song with the same lead going and going the whole thing. So we started chopping up again. After the processing, we make this kind of chops right here on the verse. I'm gonna play with the drums. So we gave more space to the notes, more space between the notes and some key changes like an octave down, like filters and stuff. And we make this lead works to the whole song. And after this, we added another sound it's a simple guitar it's like acoustic guitar we made kind of the same like same melody of the lead this wow we just make it like chop it to have a variation and a different sound on the on the song i'm gonna play for you guys This is very simple. We just took this guitar sound, it's acoustic guitar. We just added a, a glide to it. And after this, we use it the OTT. Amazing plugin and very simple to have this light distortions and stuff we love this kind of vibe like i said so we use ott a lot after this another eq on the medium range cutting up a little bit of the high end and after this it's a sidechain compression I'm gonna play for you guys with the beat. This makes the sound like breathe a little bit and not not staying the the same thing not staying the same lead now we're going to talk about the guitar we have this acoustic guitar on the song it's like a kind of pop vibe it gives a, like a pop vibe to the music so we choose this loop right here i'm gonna play for you guys We use it this sound because we felt we we are missing some pop element to the music because it was like a banger song the whole the whole music and we just found this loop it makes like a it broke this this dirty and heavy stuff to a, like more danceable and pop and we just added this guitar to it. It's very simple too. We just 
use this about the processing. We just use this EQ. After the EQ, the RC20 to bring this sample vibe. And after this, this micro shift, it's a little coarse. And we made this reverse guitar before the loop. It's very simple. I'm gonna play with the music, with the whole thing. Now we're gonna talk about the 808s. On the intro, we have this, it's so simple. We just have this, this one note, just to bring some low wind to the beginning of the music. It's an, uh, it's an 808 on a, like a high octave. And on, at the hook, we have this another one. It's more dirty, more heavier, and like more low wind. It's very simple too about the processing. We just use it a little bit of saturator, not too much. A little bit of the EQ, cutting up the high ends. And the compressor to sidechain with the kick. And this was a chapter about the keys of the Bola Rebola. How you guys saw, it's a very simple song. It's very simple keys. But the secret is, find some special sound. If you found a special sound, you're going to have a, a special song. So it's not easy, but... You need to dig it up, to try to find, try to be different, try to make different, because this is the most important thing on the music. Be creative, be different. And this is Trap Killers. We always try to find a different sound to bring attention to our music. We always trying to be different and be original.